apart from the birds, there's going to be some bits and pieces, I think. There's going to be some detritus, maybe a, I don't know, a, a can or something. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll draw things on in charcoal. I mean, this could be, if I don't like it there, it could just be moved. But I'll, I'll draw things on in charcoal. This line here, you know, does it need to be broken up with something? You know, that might be a... You know, some, or will, will there be a bottle somewhere? You know, I, I don't, I don't know. So, but what I'll do is I'll get together some reference for bits and pieces, and just, you know, think about what's going to go, what's going to go here. Maybe there'll be a, I don't know, a bottle lying down. This is what I'll do, and I'll often end up with bits and pieces all over the place, and and move things slightly until it, it, you know, I'm happy with the composition. I remember once when I did um, a piece, I had a, some carton of something, and I had it drawn on a dozen or two dozen times in slightly different places until I, I you know, decided which was the right position for it. Sometimes you get these bits where you've got all these different colours, there's one brick there, and the top of it catches the light. Now, these guys are out on a very bright sunny day and they're really catching the light strong. So the warm wood as well. We're at quite an important stage. The, the bird in the middle is finished. I need you to get him or her finished and then glaze it to, to knock it back a little bit um, before I could finish the other two birds that will be sort of painted over that, if you like. Well, this one actually does overlap. All of this ground here has been completed. Although over here, I'm still working on this. Um, I want to put quite a lot of bits and pieces in there that we'll need working on and probably finishing before I do the two birds because I, I, I'll glaze that as well so I want to do that before I finish this this bird so it's an important it's an important stage because I do feel that I shall really gather some momentum now There's, there's a texture. I can see there's a texture and it's just a downy, fluffy thing. So I do dots and then bef just before it dries, I try and smudge them a bit. And it's very controlled. I try and make sure that I smudge them in the way I want them to, you know, to be smudged. If it goes a bit wrong, then I can just keep painting over it until it comes right. It's a, quite a nondescript colour, it's a sort of a turquoise, but it's got all sorts, it's stronger than what I've got here, but not a lot stronger. And the actual colour is, isn't a colour, it's made up by lots of different, lots of different colours. So there'll be lots of different brush marks of all different colours which seem to merge to make sort of one basic colour. But there's, this here is a definite, it's quite definite, this little chunk chunk of shade comes in there. I'm just noting all sorts of 
different colours. You look at, you know, you look at the, the, the painting, you look at the photo and you say, well, you know, you know it's not finished, and you, but you don't quite know why. But the more, if you can hear what I'm saying with this brush in my mouth, the more you can start doing it, the more that you see there is to do.